Everyone, I'm so glad to be here with you, and I have a special guest today. It's our very own Ilana Springer, the CEO Administrator of the Joyce Eisenberg Kiefer Medical Center of Los Angeles Jewish Home. And I asked Ilana, I said, Ilana, what is your favorite thing about Shabbat? And here's what she said. My favorite thing about Shabbat is the opportunity to pause for a moment and to light candles. And when I light candles, I like to think of all of the people in my life that came before me and all of the people currently in my life that I am so grateful to have in my life. Ilana, I agree with you. So let's light the Shabbat candles now. Please join me, everyone. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kishanu v'mitzvotah v'tzivanu lehadlik ner shel Shabbat. Ya la 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 Asher kiddushanu v'mitzvotav, v'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu v'tzivanu lehadlik ner, v'tzivanu v'tzivanu lehadlik ner, v'tzivanu v'tzivanu lehadlik ner, shel shabbat. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi HaSharet, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi HaMlachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Barachem Shalom, Malachi HaShalom, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi HaMlachim,
Let's make the kiddush together. to life. When people make Kiddush in the Jewish tradition, they bless each other. It's an amazing thing that after they say the blessing of the wine, they actually bless each other by saying, L'chaim to life. I want to bless you, that you should have a beautiful life, especially on this Shabbat. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God gaze upon you and everyone you love and protect you with good health and joy and peace. Amen. Ken Yiratzon. Well, it's time for Motsi. I gotta be honest, the chal is still frozen. I will warm it up in a little bit, but we can still like the blessing. And I'll eat soon, and you'll eat soon, but not yet. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz, Shabbat shalom. Well, my friends, the next question that I asked Ilana is I said to Ilana, Ilana, what is your favorite Shabbat song? And this is what she said. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Thank you, Ilana. That was beautiful. Well, the time has come for us to run outside and greet the Sabbath bride as the mystics did in Svat all those centuries ago. So let's go. I know it's going to get a little bumpy. It always gets a little bumpy. But we can do it because it is beautiful out and it's worth it to have a little bumpiness in order to reach a bot outside here. I'll give you a look at what it's like out here. It's so wonderful to be outside with all of you. Well, the next question I asked Alana, which was actually my final question, was what's on your mind this Shabbat? And this is what she said. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I am so happy to be able to be with you, even if it's through this medium today. Uh, it is so nice going into Shabbat, being thoughtful about what are the things that we're grateful for. And at this moment, there's really so much for us to be grateful. Today is a beautiful spring day. Can we look at the window and look at the sky, at the clouds, at the flowers? Whatever it is that you are grateful for, I encourage you to find a moment today to stop and think about that and be really present to the things in your life that you're grateful for. Thank you, Alana. You're always so thoughtful and joyful. So let me share what's on my mind on this Shabbat. We come to the counting of the Omer this evening, the 44th day of the counting of the Omer, because we're just about a week away from Shavuot. So it's a time of counting. And this week's Torah portion is Bamidbar, which in English translates as numbers, but in Hebrew really means in the wilderness. It's in this Torah portion that Moses speaks to our congregation, the congregation of Israel in the wilderness. 
And isn't that so much like where we are today? Life isn't just entering into the promised land without trials and challenges and tribulations, but rather it's a journey. And you've been around longer than I have to know that there are difficult times in the journey. And sometimes I think it's why so many of you are so courageous and calm and reflective in, in so many ways, my teachers, because you've seen it all. And you know that even though the journey in the wilderness can feel like a real wilderness at times, that somehow, as long as you know that you're heading in the right direction, everything's going to be okay. And that's this time of year. We're heading in the right direction. We're heading toward Torah. And next week, uh, Shabbat is going to overlap with Shavuot. We're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time celebrating with Rabbi Ron. And uh, you'll see fantastic food, that dairy meal that uh, is so indicative that we are at that holiday of Shavuot. Well, I think I'm going to finish now with one last melody. Adama v'shamayim Chom ha'esh tzlil amayim Ani margish zopegufi Meruchi v'nishmati Heya 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 From our home to yours, I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. When the sun has set on a Friday night, bringing peace into your home, families will gather all around saying, yeah. Shabbat Shalom, everybody sing Shalom, 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 Shalom. a gift from God to put a smile upon your face. He's got the whole world in his hands, so obey his commands and you will know peace. Shalom. Shalom.